has some uh, COVID rules, so you can only go out to 12 o'clock, which is later than last time I was here, uh, where it was 10 o'clock. And there's no limit on the group size. Last time it was four people or six people. Uh, so things are easing up, but it was still, they still have a funny rule. Um, I think it must be to do licensing, but you can't dance in certain clubs or certain bars. Like you go to a bar. Um, like I just went to a bar which was like an arcade or a games bar. So <laughs> I was playing Time Crisis, which is like a arcade game where you shoot. Um, and then while I was doing it, I was just dancing around and the guy came up to me and said, sorry, sorry, uh, no dance, no dance. <laughs> and then I thought he was, I don't know, I don't know what I thought he was doing. I didn't think he was that serious. So I continued playing, didn't dance. And then, then I went off and played um, table tennis. And then while I was playing table tennis, I was also <laughs> just doing a little dance, like what I was doing. And he, he like shot right over to me again and was like, no, no dance. And I had to ask him, I was like, why, why not? Like, what, is it actually like illegal to dance? And he was like, yes, government, government rule, no dance. And like, I think he was, he was obeying the rules as well. So I wasn't annoyed at him or anything, but I just, it just made me laugh. So I like, was I'm really sorry for dancing. He was like, okay, okay. <laughs> So I had a bit of an accident. Hey. So I was at the tricking class earlier this morning and I fell awkwardly, like sprained my ankle. So there goes my training for the rest of my time here probably. Um, it's not it's not awful, I didn't break a bone or anything, but still I rolled it and I can't put any weight. Well I can put about 20% weight on it. Uh, so I'm on these crutches. Uh, it wasn't even anything crazy, it wasn't one of the super flips or you know whatever. Uh, it was more just had a lot of momentum. And that ironically trying to do a move slower, but I think it's because I was doing it slowly, but with momentum, my brain didn't really know where I was, so. I came down and just rolled it. Uh, instant pain, it was <laughs> crunch. And then, luckily, the good thing about career is that there's always like these clinics, or they call them hospitals, but across the road, you can get basically seen straight away. So I went there uh, with, the, with the instructor, just after the class, uh, and then got a scan immediately, and then got this boot and, and the crutches. Uh, cost about 80 pounds for all of that. You see it instantly with the doctor. So they said it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it's, yeah, I need to go back in four days and get it checked out again. So just here feeling sorry for myself a bit, but also I was with the Korean guy, uh, the instructor, but his English isn't great. So we were using like Peppa Go. Uh, he talks to him a little bit, but I did actually manage to use, uh, some basic Korean there, which is good. So I never like went, went by his left leg or, uh, Palmok, his ankle and uh, so I could tell him where it was. I mean, you can point always, right? But at least I said, like, uh, when Palmok, uh, Apayo, Apayo means uh, hurt, and Quenchaneo means uh, okay. So it's more like Quenchaneo, uh, Quenchaneo, or like Apayo, Apayo. Uh, you can point the different bits. Um, so yeah, it was nice. Uh, not nice, but it was uh, good to actually be able to communicate, even at a very basic level. But it was, uh, you know, at least some of it went in that I actually remembered. So. quite a famous bridge in Korea. I think it's used a lot in uh, K-dramas and stuff. But, um, people like to get a good view of the tower. And it's quite nice. It's not nice to see one. So it's got people stopping in pictures.
by the time we got to the point, I was so tired, I was like, fuck it, I'm going home. Just in the wheelchair at the, uh, <laughs> the museum. I can walk a bit more now, but it's easier on this wheelchair. Just screen the ship so that they definitely don't know how many of the troubles were there. Yeah, I could do that. Now this one I definitely wouldn't be able to fit in. <laughs> to the National War Museum again. Uh, I've been on, I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> it was just quite funny. Uh, I had my crutches as well. So, legs start to be a bit better, I'm still, still on crutches, but um, I can actually walk without them, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's two days now, so hopefully it's past the worst, where I can even put any weight on it. Uh, I just wanted to get a burger from the, the burger shop around here, because I have these quite small, like, American style, like, griddle top, smashed patties, fast food style burgers, uh, and the guy, <laughs> he's quite funny. Um, yeah, he saw my, my crutches and was like, oh, how are you, how are you doing? Um, like, is it uh, tennis or baseball? And I said, oh, Musul, which is martial arts. And he was like, oh, Musul, Krav Maga. And I said, uh, like, Hapkido, Taekwondo. And then he was like, oh. And then asked, like, what rank I was. And I said, like, to Sabah Min. And then he was like, oh, Sabah Min, which means master. He kind of misheard me, but he was like, okay, okay. So he gave me three jalapenos because I was a, a Hapkido master. And then... Um, he said, pay my card, it's going to channel, it's, it's okay, for well, well, my master, he kept bowing, <laughs> it's quite funny. So, I've got these nice burgers here, um, I've got two, like I don't like getting big burgers, I like getting, yeah, you know, you're going to have more burgers here, get two, so, quite big. Extremely sloppy, but really good, like caramelised onions, not, not much cheeses, um, soft bun, yeah, he said there's jalapenos, so. Very good. Yeah, it's been about six days now. 
I've regained the ability to walk just about, so a little bit limpy. I keep getting prescribed painkillers by people, so I've taken some of those, but I don't want to overdo it. Uh, but it's good to not have the crutches anymore. So I'm just off to get my hair done at the uh, hair people. I went there last year, like nine months ago. Um, hopefully go grey and cut it a little bit because it's going a bit wild. So I just finished at the hairdressers, so as you can see my hair's a little bit different, it's still long. Uh, I've gone grey, um, which I wanted to do before but I didn't have the balls to do it before. So um, And this time I wasn't sure how it was going to take so I had to bleach it uh, again uh, and at the roots. So I was, originally I was just going to have the the natural, the, my, my natural colour, the black as the root and just doing the rest grey and I think they misheard me but I basically started bleaching the entire thing. And then I was like, it's too late to go back now. So I ended up doing the whole bit, but I think it, it looks better anyway. So quite happy with it. Uh, I don't know if it will fade. Apparently it will fade to like a khaki color, but all good for now. And they told me I look pretty, so. It took about five hours. So I was there from 11. I thought it might take three hours, but I was there for five hours in the end. So I put a place in Hongdae. So Hongdae now, is where the, uh, the kids hang out. Friendly, friendly place. Called Hongdae Festival Street. I mean, it's quite quiet. This is a uh, Thursday afternoon, uh, and I'm kind of limping. <laughs> so I can walk about the crutches again. So, but I'm limping a little bit. I took some painkillers, but they've worn off. So maybe I need to be careful. Of that. Very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> 